Clark. How will she go for history? From record-breaking games to intense rivalries, Caitlin Clark has been making headlines everywhere. You know, it's really, really special, and I don't think it's going to set in for me for quite some time, Clark said about her recent achievements. However, Caitlin has just shocked the WNBA with an unexpected decision. Known for her amazing talent and confident yet humble personality, Caitlin has always been a player to watch, but this time, she's done something no one expected. Why did this basketball star make such a surprising decision? Really, really special, and I don't think it's gonna set in for me for quite some time. Oh. With the Olympic break approaching, everything could change. Let's dig deep into Caitlin Clark's situation, talk about her amazing stats, uncover the drama at the fever, and look at changes that could shake up the game. Plus, there's exciting news about a basketball legend who might join this story. What shocking twist could this mean for Caitlin in the WNBA? You won't believe what happens next. Caitlin Clark is a superstar, people have been saying it for years, calling her the Steph Curry of women's basketball. Whether college or pro, she is a force to be reckoned with. She's a superstar. I've been saying it for years, I keep telling everybody she's the Steph Curry of women's basketball, college or pro. She is a superstar, I had the pleasure of doing it. Clark has been absolutely dominating the WNBA right now. In the last 10 games before the All-Star break, she's been unstoppable, putting up an incredible 18.5 points, 6.3 rebounds, and a mind-blowing 11.4 assists per game. This isn't just impressive, it's revolutionary. Clark is redefining what it means to be a rookie in the league. Those 11.4 assists are off the charts. She's not just scoring, she's making her entire team better. She's turning heads, breaking records, and showing everyone that she's here to change the game for good. But here's the real issue, the Indiana Fever is falling behind their star player Caitlin Clark with an 11-15 record in the first half of the season. It's crystal clear something is broken. Last year, without Clark, was an absolute disaster, but now with her on the court, they should be unstoppable. Yet for those watching the games, it's painfully obvious they could be dominating and sitting at the top of the standings. And the drama doesn't stop there. At the All-Star Game, something intriguing went down. Caitlin Clark, our star rookie, was on the court for almost 40 minutes in some games. That's way too much for any player, let alone a rookie. The exhaustion was written all over her face. She was so worn out that she skipped the skills and three-point competition, which she usually loves. Despite being frustrated with the fever and their constant struggles, Caitlin managed to make some valuable connections during the All-Star Weekend. The plot thickens as alliances are formed and rivalries heat up. To beat the brakes off the Olympic team. <laughs> uh, for you guys, you go through that practice. What was it like being able to, to be coached and to be around a legend like Cheryl Miller? And for all of you, please. Yeah. Yeah, I think obviously Cheryl, she's like one of the pioneers of our game and just an awesome individual. Um, like her personality just radiates. Like being around her, it just makes you smile. Like she's just such a cool human. Um, so for her to get to coach us, like super exciting for me. I was super excited when I heard. First up, we've got the legendary Cheryl Miller coaching the all-star team. Guess what? Caitlin Clark and Miller hit it off instantly during practice. Miller's offensive plays made the Fever's attack look like child's play. Clark was there, soaking up every bit of knowledge, seeing how a top coach runs things. But that's not all. Sophie Cunningham from the Phoenix Mercury was chatting with Clark courtside, and they seemed like they'd known each other forever. Cunningham raved about how Clark makes the game easier for her teammates. All of this happened right in front of the cameras for everyone to see. Clark is getting a front row view of how other teams work, how different coaches handle things, and most importantly, how much she's valued by the league. Now compare this to her time with the fever, the difference is huge. In Indiana, she seemed to get no respect or recognition at all, but now she's getting attention from sports legends and current stars. The big question now is will these fresh connections shape Clark's future in the league? The Fever better watch their backs because other teams definitely are. Let's face it, the Fever are in trouble and Coach Christy Sides is at the center of the storm. The criticism she's facing is intense and for good reason. Her decision to play Clark for 40 minutes a game is a disaster waiting to happen. But it's not just about how long Clark is on the court. Sides' game plans are also under fire. The Fever's offense is painfully basic, especially compared to the fireworks we saw from Cheryl Miller at the All-Star Game. Sides isn't getting the best out of Clark or the team. So how long can the Fever keep going like this? If they don't make changes soon, they risk losing not just games, but their star players too. With Clark showing off her talent at the All-Star Game, she's a prize they can't afford to lose. Time might be running out for the Fever to fix their troubles. But there's a potential silver lining on the horizon. Let's talk about Cheryl Miller the same Cheryl Miller who dazzled as a coach during the All-Star Game. The buzz around Miller taking over as the next head coach of the Indiana Fever is growing, and this isn't just idle speculation. Miller's performance at the All-Star Game was nothing short of impressive. During the practices, she showcased precisely what the Fever need well-structured offensive plays. We're talking about sophisticated strategies like double cuts and pick and rolls, game plans that allow Clark and other standout players to truly shine. 
The difference between what Miller implemented and the Fever's current approach is like night and day. Miller is no rookie when it comes to coaching. Her wealth of experience and sharp tactical mind could be just what the Fever need to turn their season around. If these rumors prove true and Miller steps into the head coach role, we could see a dramatic improvement in the team's performance and a stronger ability to retain key players like Caitlin Clark. Miller's resume is impressive. She successfully led both the Phoenix Mercury and the University of Southern California USC. She's respected in the league and seems to have an immediate rapport with Clark. With her on board, the Fever might just find the spark they need to elevate their game and secure their star. Imagine what Cheryl Miller could achieve with a team led by Caitlin Clark. Miller has the tactical expertise to maximize the talents of these young stars and the authority to bring real changes to the team's culture. For Clark, having a coach of Miller's caliber could be a game changer. Miller understands the game at the highest level and can help Clark elevate her performance even further. The Fever need a serious shakeup and Miller seems to be the right person for the job. The big question is will the Fever take this bold step or continue down the same path, risking the loss of Clark's shine? If this change happens, it could be exactly what the Fever need to become a serious competitor in the WNBA. More importantly, it could ensure that Clark stays happy and productive in Indiana. Another key factor is the Olympic break. It's not just a time for rest, it's a golden opportunity for negotiations and major changes. With Clark's stellar performance and the Fever's current situation, you can bet there's a lot happening behind the scenes. Take the New York Liberty and the Phoenix Mercury, for example. They have dedicated owners and are pouring resources into their franchises. The Mercury is even building a $70 million facility. This shows the kind of top-notch environment they can offer a star like Clark. But it's not just about money and facilities. The new collective bargaining agreement being negotiated could completely change the game. This break could be the perfect time for the Fever to make bold moves and secure their future. Rumors are swirling that rookie contracts could be voided, especially if the salary cap increases significantly due to a new television rights deal. This could mean that Clark becomes a free agent sooner than expected. With maximum salaries potentially reaching a million dollars, teams will have more flexibility to attract stars. The Fever are under immense pressure. If they don't make significant changes, like bringing in Cheryl Miller as coach and improving the roster around Clark, they risk losing their star player. This Olympic break is crucial. The decisions made in the coming weeks could redefine the future of the WNBA. Clark is the prize everyone wants, and the Fever need to act fast if they want to keep her. The stakes are higher than ever. Teams like the New York Liberty and Phoenix Mercury are investing heavily building top-notch facilities and creating attractive environments for stars like Clark. The new collective bargaining agreement being negotiated could change the landscape of the league. This break isn't just about rest, it's a pivotal moment for negotiations and strategic decisions. The Fever must seize this opportunity to make bold moves and secure their future. The clock is ticking and the pressure is on. If the Fever want to keep Caitlin Clark and become serious contenders, they need to act now. What happens in the next few weeks could completely reshape the WNBA's landscape. Landscape. Caitlin Clark is at the heart of it all. She has shown her incredible worth, but the Indiana Fever is at a critical crossroads. They have a rising star, but they're struggling to manage this unique opportunity. The Fever's next moves will define not only their own future, but also potentially shift the balance of power in the entire league. With Clark's talent shining bright, the Fever have a chance to make a significant impact. The decisions they make now will be crucial. Will they seize this moment and build a powerhouse around Clark, or will they falter and let this golden opportunity slip away? The stakes are high. The Fever need to act decisively to secure Clark and build a team that can compete at the highest level. The rest of the league is watching closely, knowing that whatever happens next could set the tone for the future of the WNBA. The pressure is on and the Fever must rise to the challenge if they want to transform their potential into success. Will we see Clark leading a new powerhouse or will the Fever turn things around and become serious contenders? One thing is certain the status quo is not an option. Changes are coming and they're coming fast. The WNBA we see after this Olympic break could be very different from what we know now.